Scientists from the Delhi-based Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology, Biology or IGIB claim to have developed a new method of COVID-19 testing which they say is faster and almost as accurate as the RT-PCR test. The test is sensitive and cost-effective as well. The method eliminates the need for a biosafety lab which makes it possible for it to be used at uh, places like the airport or railway stations to test passengers before they board a train or a plane. Now, to talk about this, I am joined by doc Dr. Shantanu Sen Gupta. He's a professor with IGIB and part of the team that has developed this test. Uh, thank you very much for speaking with us, Dr. Sen Gupta. Firstly, I thank would like you. to know how reliable is this test compared to RT PCR? So, uh, <clears throat> currently, we have uh, done about uh, 63 COVID uh, positive samples and uh, 19. Uh, control samples. We took true controls, uh, which means that these uh, people did not develop any antibodies, uh, which means that they did not have any disease at least 10 days before uh, the test, and also were currently not infected as we found out through RT-PCR. So using this, we have been able to detect uh, people who have been affected and who are not affected. So right now, it needs to be validated in much more samples, and we are cu currently doing that. Right. And how did you manage to cut down the testing time? I mean, 30 to 40 minutes is a very uh, uh, good time compared to any other test. Yeah, so I would like to uh, pay my tributes to my students as well as my uh, collaborators from NCDC, Dr. Uh, Pramod Kumar, from IIIT Delhi, uh, Dr. Arjun Ray, and uh, my colleague here, uh, Dr. Devashis Das. The team together was able to do it. So what we did was, we went back in the literature and there were lots of steps which we uh, followed the literature of uh, say 1970s and 80s. We had forgotten all about them. It was simple biochemistry. And then uh, when we used, applied this here, we could actually cut down the uh, pre-processing time, which is anywhere between 9 to 24 hours in a case of mass spec. We, we can now just do it in 30 minutes. So uh, that was the major advancement. And then mass spec is a very accurate technique. Uh, it's the most accurate technique anywhere in the world currently. Uh, so once that pre-processing step was reduced, then uh, doing it in mass spec was uh, very easy. That, that did not take too much time. Right, uh, doctor, also, you know, what are the places that this can be used? If uh, finally, when it does get approval and people uh, do manage to set up whatever is required, what are the kind of places that would be able to use this test? So this uh, instrument, it requires an air conditioned environment. Uh, so, so the best places for this is diagnostic labs, uh, hospitals, as well as airports. So uh, I believe uh, once it comes uh, uh, in public, these are the places that uh, where it, it can be installed and uh, people will benefit from this. Right, and many experts talk about testing, testing, testing is the, as the only solution to the pandemic till the vaccine is there. So how important is the scaling up and how can this test contribute when approved? So testing is, uh, you know, testing is the mantra as you rightly said. Uh, testing and quarantine is the only way right now till the vaccine comes, we can fight this. So uh, RT-PCR is leading from the front and uh, worldwide RT-PCR is being used. There are various other techniques. Uh, our institute has developed a CRISPR-based technique, which is shortly coming to market. Uh, mass spec based techniques, all these will complement uh, RT-PCR. So, the more number of ways you can uh, detect the virus, the better it is because there is a saturation of RT-PCR also. The reagents and all are expensive and not very common. So getting those reagents for RT-PCR will also be a limitation. Uh, in contrast, the, the technique we are using, uh, the, uh, the, we only need solvents and an uh, enzyme called trypsin, which is very freely available. So uh, in terms of reagents and uh, uh, all the other things, uh, this test is uh, probably very easy to do. So all these tests together sh uh, should be uh, started in the country so that uh, you know large number of uh, population can be covered.
Right. ICMR did want that, uh, you know, the indigenous testing and indigenous uh, techniques should be prioritized. But uh, right now, what is the situation in terms of approval? And uh, are there any other tests like yours? So, uh, this, uh, this, see, it is still, we can't call it a test to be validated. We have just uh, done the proof of principle. We have right. published the paper and a similar paper which probably required much more instrumentation and was more uh, time consuming, was first published in Brazil. But uh, uh, then subsequently after our publication, there are reports in uh, from the US also, from Mayo Clinic where they have come up with another method using the same uh, technology. Right. Uh, but all these need to be uh, you know validated in larger population because Absolutely. RT-PCR is very widely recognized and it's a time tested technique. Absolutely. Mass spec in detection of peptides needs to be validated more. Absolutely. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sen Gupta. And we hope that you do get success in uh, developing this test of yours.